Hello, and uh, this is just a brief recording to go with you over the instructions that I have prepared for the final essay. Um, as I have explained to many of you, because of some of the technical glitches that I have uh, had with the course, and because I'm determined to uh, work with you so that you can complete it successfully, I have uh, made a number of decisions, one of which has been that uh, in terms of deliverables, we are working on three elements. One is your annotations. You should have to have minimally eight annotations to have a passing grade and ten if you want to have a full grade, meaning that uh, I will add the points that I get to those ten and whatever the pointage you, you have, that'll be the grade. But um, in theory, you can get an A plus on, on the annotations. But you are welcome to submit more annotations up to 13, which is the total that I have prepared uh, as instructions for you. The second element is going to be this paper that I'm explaining today. And it is a short paper, it's a four uh, page long uh, essay that uh, should summarize some of the theoretical uh, issues and questions that we have explored during the semester, together with the exploration, brief uh, as it might be, of uh, an issue, uh, an arena, a tribe, an element of, um, of the menu that we have explored during the semester. Lastly, I will take into consideration your, part, your participation in the course. Obviously, those who have had a more consistent participation will be able to get a very great, but, but again, um, based on the fact that uh, we have had some of the inevitable glitches of a first uh, iteration of the course, I want to be fair and give you every opportunity to get a passing and a good grade. All right, so insofar as the essay, the essay um, is... Um, meant to um, give you an opportunity to explore and and um, account for some of your readings and some of your explorations. Uh, it should include at least one of the topics that we have covered, we have covered during the semester. And then um, it, it will be actually organized into three different uh, moments. The first one, and the one that I'm uh, particularly concerned because of timing is the fact that I need from you a brief statement so that I can give you feedback. That's the first step. So by November the 18th, you're going to have to submit a draft of your, of your paper, your ideas for the paper. I am going to be posting on this um, initial, uh, on this lecture and then on the, on the cover page of the course, a link to the submission. I will also be sending you an email with the link for the submission so that one way or another you will be able to access um, the, um, the, um, the you, you will be able to add the access point for this exercise. Uh, the second uh, moment uh, in the process of submission will be a mandatory copy editing of your papers. So by December the 4th you will be submitting a copy of your um, finalized draft of your paper to one of your peers, and then uh, you will she or he will exchange that paper with you, and you will be copy editing each other's papers. That should happen on December the 4th. Then you will give it back to your peers and uh, submit with the final changes by December 11th. And this... I have to stress this, this is a drop deadline. There's no extensions and no possibility for me to give you any more time. So you're going to have to submit by December 11th, the finalized copy of your paper that has been copy edited, edited to me to be able to earn um, that grade uh, for the semester. Okay, that's in so far as the steps, step one, two, and three. Please keep this in mind. Uh, you know, the, the guidelines for writing is like any other paper in social and behavioral sciences. Should be copy edit and uh, I have uh, highlighted here that I love subheadings. I want to see subheadings in your paper. Uh, it's a four pages in extension, double space times New Roman. And um, minimally, the paper should identify the topic uh, and bring pertinent information that is uh, make connections with the readings that we have done uh, during the semester. Don't forget to, inclu to include a cover page, page numbers, and then format the paper following the APA 
or Chicago style that you might be using. All right. Uh, since I'm asking for this paper to be uh, copy edited by your peers, the, the name of your peer should appear in the cover page of your uh, final version. All right. If you have any questions, I'm always available um, and happy to bring more clarifications. Sayonara. <laughs>